Hi again. Now I'm going to continue with the part three of the topic in compressor. So for today we are going to look into the subtopic under compressor, which is the axial flow compressor. We've gone through the introduction section to compressor, and we also have looked into the centrifugal flow type. So today we are going to uh, go deep into the axial type of compressor. For this section, I will go through the overview. The next video for compressor, axial flow compressor, will cover the rest of the uh, sub topics. An axial flow compressor normally consists of one or more roto assemblies that carry blades of airfoil section. So these assemblies are mounted between bearings in the casings which incorporate the stator vein. So basically in a typical axial flow compressor, you have a series of rotos and stator vanes. The compressor also is a multi-stage unit. The amount of pressure increased by each stage is small. So you must make sure when you design a, an axial flow compressor, you build up the pressure along the axial of the compressor. So as the pressure ratio is increased, the incorporation of variable stator veins will ensure that the air flow is directed onto the succeeding stage at an acceptable angle. So the design of the stator veins angle are very important in order to ensure the correct direction of the airflow in the axial flow compressor. So from the front to the rear, when you say front means from the low pressure compressor to the high pressure compressor stages, there is a gradual reduction of the air annulus. Air annulus is the gap eh, between the, uh, the area between the tip of the roto blades to the casing as well as to the stator veins. So this is necessary to maintain a near constant air axial velocity as the density increases through the length of the compressor. Conversion of the air annulus is achieved. How can you achieve that? Meaning that you can taper the casing of the roto from the big diameter at the front of the compressor uh, stages to a smaller diameter at the high pressure compressor stages. A combination of both is also possible with the arrangement being influenced by manufacturing problems and other mechanical design factors. This is a picture of a single spool compressor. As you can see here from the blue uh, colored, um, blue colored, let me just try this, okay. This blue colored um, blades, right? This is a single spool. Everything is being connected, all the compressor blades are being connected onto a single shaft. Okay? So you can see later on what does, does this mean. A single spool compressor consists of one row to assembly and status with as many stages as necessary to achieve the desired pressure ratio and all the airflow from the intake passes through the Multi spool in in a different situation consists of two or more roto assembly. So each driven by their own turbine. If you have multi spool, you have a single spool connected to one one uh, uh, shaft. The other spool will co be connected. So the, the other uh, compressor spool will be connected to the other shaft. Okay. So each of these uh, type of uh, system will be driven by their own turbine at an optimum speed to achieve higher pressure ratio and to give higher operating flexibility. So 
This is a photo of a twin spool compressor. You can see here there are two sets. One is the uh, blue color and the other one is the orange color. Eh? Low pressure compressor. This is low pressure. And this is the high pressure. What is this arrangement? So the twin spool compressor is more suitable for the bypass type engine. So you have a bypass engine where the front of the low pressure compressor is designed to handle a larger airflow than the higher uh, pressure compressor. So only a percentage of the air from the low pressure compressor passes into the high pressure compressor. Some, uh, the rest of the air will be bleed uh, through the bypass. And this arrangement matches the velocity of the jet nearer to the optimum requirement of the aircraft and result in higher propulsive efficiency. And this is another picture showing a typical triple spool compressor. There are three spool compressor. With the high bypass ratio turbo fan, this trend is taken a stage further and you have seen, you can see modern um, high bypass turbo fan engine that has uh, at least uh, three spool compressor and the cup at, at one stage of compression in the fan before being split between the core and the pipe bypass ratio duct in the ratio of one to five. Okay. This result in the optimum arrangement for passenger and transport aircraft. That's why you can see many modern aircraft the passenger aircraft are using high bypass ratio axial type compressor. The fan may be coupled to the front of a number of core compression stages. So that's all for today. We will continue in the next uh, video for the principle of operation and construction. Thank you very much.